there. So, for instance, how about paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, double double, okay? Paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, double double. So I'll play it again, first on the snare drum, a few times. God bless you. And then, <laughs> Brian, he's dead. he couldn't do it. It's all right. Paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, double double. I'll loop it a couple times, and then you'll hear more of this kind of flavor once I move it to the ride cymbal. Again, you could double some stuff with the bass drum, or you could play in the cracks. Up, up tempo, you kind of hear Elvin too. Right, you're gonna hear that vibe. And it's the same hand pattern, but what, what's what's giving it that that momentum is the bass drum placement. And the other thing that's going to really help you feel and the other thing to pay attention to is the volume. It's going to be a very different thing if you play. Right? That's kind of no... That's just a flat line. But once you get some subtlety and some dynamic range in between the, the snare drum and the cymbal it's gonna affect the feel. <laughs> 